In the previous video, we discussed how neural network is structured, what element consists of, and their functionality. Today, we will look at a real example to understand how the neural network works. The example will be about property evaluation. So, we are going to look at a neural network that takes some parameter of a property of a building and produces its value. We will assume that the neural network is trained and look at how it works. So, we will not teach the neural network in this video. We will do that in our next tutorial. This will allow us to focus on applying a trained neural network. So without any further delay, let us get started. So for this example, let us say that we have four input parameters about the property in the input layer as follows area, square feet, bedroom, distance to city, and age. In real example, usually there will be more parameters that define the price of the property, but for simplicity's sake, we are going to look at these four parameters. A neural network in its basic form has an input layer and an output without a hidden layer, and the output is the price we will predict. And in this form, the input parameter will be weighted by the synapses and the output value will be calculated. For instance, uh, the price will be the sum of the weighted value of all the input. And here you can use any activation function we discussed in previous video. We can use logistic regression or squared function. But the point is you will get a specific output. As we can see, if an activation function is not used in a neural network, uh, then the output signal would be a simple linear function, which is just a polyno polynomial of degree 1. Although linear equation is simple and easy to solve, the complexity is limited and they need the ability to learn and recognize uh, complex uh, mapping from data. And uh, a neural network without activation function acts as a linear regression model with limited performance and uh, with limited performance and power most of the time. It is desirable that a neural network not only learn and compute a linear function, but perform tasks more complicated than that, uh, like modeling complicated data types such as images, videos, audio, speeches, and so on. This shows how powerful the neural network is. Without a hidden layer, we have a representation of the output, which will work for most other machine learning algorithms. But in the neural network, we have an extra advantage that gives us a lot of flexibility and power, which is where an increase in accuracy comes from. That power is the hidden layer with the activation functions. Okay, now I'm going to explain how this extra layer gives us power. Again, as we agreed, uh, this neural network was trained before, and we will plug in a property. Then we will walk step by step and see how the neural network deals with the input variable and calculates the hidden layers. So we got uh, all the variable on the left, and we will start with the top neuron on the hidden layer. We can see that each of the neuron from the input layer has synapses connecting each of the top neuron in the hidden layer. And those synapses have weight. So let us agree that some weight will have zero values and other will have non-zero values. Because basically, not all inputs will be valid and not all information will be important for every single neuron. As we can see, in X1 and X3, the area and the distance are essential for that neuron. On the other hand, X2 and X4 are not important to the first neuron. How could that be the case? Uh, let us think about it. This could mean that the farther you became far from the city, the cheaper the price of the property, and the space and feet of the property become larger. So, for the same price, 
you can get a bigger property the farther you go far from the city and probably what this neuron is doing is looking for properties that are not so far from the city but have a large area so this neuron is cherry picking a property and it will activate or fire up only when certain criteria are met so that is why this neuron doesn't care about the number of bedroom or the property age now uh, let us look at another neuron let us take the one in the middle here we have got three parameter feeding into this neuron area bedroom and age so what could be the scenario here please keep in mind that this model is already trained one possible case could be in the city this where this model was trained there are many families with kids with two or more children who are looking for a large property for example more than four bedrooms and uh, they should be new properties hence from the model training this neuron knows that when there is a property with a large area and many bedrooms it will have a greater value in the market so this neuron will fire up as soon as this criteria is met this is the power of a neural network where it combines uh, three parameters into one attribute that helps with the evaluation of the property and therefore is more precise let us look at another example at the very bottom this neuron has picked just one parameter well this is a classic example for once the age of the property is old the value of the property will, will be less whereas in a brand new building uh, it will be more expensive but perhaps when a property is at certain age it means it is a historical property for instance uh, if a property is under 100 years old it is less valuable but as soon as it jumps over 100 years old all of a sudden it becomes a historic property because this is a property where it tells a story it gets all this history behind it and some people value that and a lot of people will be very proud to live to live in such a property with all of its histories and therefore this neuron as soon as it sees a property above 100 years old will fire up and contribute to the overall to the overall price otherwise if it is under 100 years old it wouldn't even work this is a good example of the of the rectifier function being applied this neural network model could have picked some scenario where we couldn't have picked it ourselves such as a bedroom and distance to the city as shown here okay in the second neuron it has two input only the bedroom and the distance to the city the bedroom in combination with the distance to the city could uh, somehow contribute to the price of the property this neuron is not as strong as the other neuron but it is still contribute to the network another case could be where a neuron could pick up all four inputs variable as shown here this is the fourth neuron where it picked all the input variables as we can see, this neuron with this hidden layer situation allow us to increase the flexibility of the neural network to look for a very specific scenarios. In the end, each of these neurons by themselves cannot predict the price, but all together they have superpowers and they can predict the price and can provide a more accurate price if trained properly. By this, we reach the end of this tutorial. In the following video, I will continue with how to train the neural network and then I will talk about bike propagation and gradient descent. So stay tuned and see you in the next video.